and moonbeams. So I realized I haven't given a Twelfth Night update in a while. Hey, it's almost 8 30. We should probably start getting ready. I'm not coming. You said you would come. I know, but. Do you ever have those days when you said you would go to something and then the time comes and you just really don't want to see another human being again? Ever? Well, yeah. But it's a costume party. You love costumes. You love parties. But I don't even have anything prepared. I know for a fact that isn't true. I literally helped you make a Glinda costume. I... Yeah, try again. May have gotten upset and gotten rid of it. You destroyed my masterpiece? I may have demolished it. Do you know how many hours of bedazzling went into that? It just won't feel very sparkly. Okay, but I know that there's at least got to be something in your closet that we can turn into a costume. Please. Please. Maybe I'll go as Penelope from the Odyssey. Or as Eliza Hamilton. Is this another cheating conversation? No. Look, happy thoughts, positive thoughts. Can we just have a lazy night in? We've been looking forward to this party for weeks. I know, but eating potato chips in my pajamas just seems like the best option right now. I got an idea. Be right back. If I win, you're going. Really? Come on, you know you want to. Success! Mm -hmm. Come on, let's find you something. Uh, I mean, you could go as Sheriff from Clueless and you can wear one of your plaid skirts. Wednesday Adams? Voila! Goth share. Now your frown will look like part of your costume. Ha ha. What are you? Van Gogh? Nice. Obviously. Just one more thing before we go. Makeup. All right. I've convinced her, so we're off. You don't think Alex is going to be there, do you? Because what if she's wearing something similar and then people think we're wearing a couple's costume since she keeps saying she doesn't have a girlfriend and all? No, I don't know. I hope not. What? Nothing. Let's go have some fun. <clears throat> As if. <laughs> 